Okay, now we're going to look at the second phase of this demonstration, which is when we see and have applications opened, multiple application control, and the ability to view each application in a different color space. So what we just demonstrated a moment ago was a capability manually of selecting the full screen, the global full screen, to a color space. And we just moved from full retail mode, full, na full native mode to sRGB. Once again, full, we're changing the entire display. Every application viewed at this stage is now changing a color space. As we move into the ability to identify each individual application and assign a color space to each application, we have a utility called AppSync. AppSync will take a polling of every application on your system, and then you have the ability to come in here and select each application and either manually select the color space, or as the OEM, you may choose to have a predefined set of color space uh, on your application portfolio. So this will automatically give you that adjustment capability on a per application basis. So now I'm going to move to selecting a particular application and then as I highlight it and bring it as the active window what you're going to see is the actual movement of a color space that's just been assigned here differently than the color space here. So once again, I'm going to move now from this application and highlight my browser by selecting the application here and you see a completely different color space that's occurred in my browser versus in my paint program. So this is an illustration now of the ability to change color space automatically by either highlighting the application or opening and closing it. One of the other elements that we'd like to demonstrate here is as I select each window, I can move this window and the color space actually tracks with it and you can see that the little red line around the frame of the application is tracking with it, which is quite interesting as a technology that now you have the ability to zone, a local zone on an application, and then the color space tracks with it. So you'll see this on a per application basis without any real delay of any sort, which is quite nice from the standpoint of soft proofing and the ability to see an application in each different color space. Now I'm going to illustrate right here a video. You'll notice that the video uh, color space just changed to what is Rec. 709. That's been set here. And I'll play this video now as we speak and I'll also demonstrate real-time color space control just to illustrate that there's no video interrupt whatsoever or compromise to your video at, at, at any point. So I'm now selecting color space again. We just changed the entire full display. Whatever color space selection I make, you can see that there's nothing occurring that's going to interrupt your video regardless of any color space I'm selecting.